Hey guys, my name is Dylan, and today I'm going to talk about RNAi or RNA therapy. So yeah, let's get started. Have you ever wished you could find a way to cure cancer? As it is something that kills millions each year because we still don't have the correct vaccination or even a cure? You would think over the years we would have already developed something that could destroy these dangerous pathogens and end the cycle once and for all. Well, biologists and doctors have been studying this for decades and might have come up with a way to interfere directly with the reproduction processes of the cells and diseases like cancer. According to a 2008 journal, Expert Opinion and Therapeutic target, Targets, small interfering RNA has become a powerful tool in knocking down or silencing gene expression in most cells. siRNA-based therapy has shown great promise for many diseases such as cancer. This speech will be a brief explanation and summary of the advancements in siRNA and RNA. RNAi, how it can aid in preventing and possibly declining the growth of several types of cancers. It all began with gene silencing, which is a form of gene interference to stop the expression of DNA in the reproduction stage, thus halting the division and the reproduction of unwanted cells or pathogens. Based on a 2006 research article, RNA interference is a powerful gene silencing process that holds great promise in the field of cancer therapy. This RNAi can be used to pinpoint major molecules and pathogens that create different diseases like cancer. Believe it or not, this is actually all began with botanists, or scientists that study plants, which is like what a botanist is basically. It began when they attempted to use a pigment in petunias to make them a different color, but instead of the cells of the flower reacting to the pigment, it actually didn't show at all. In fact, the flowers became patchy colored and eventually returned to their main color. The RNAi was prevented, preventing protein expression, thus blocking the pathways to prevent the gene from reproducing and becoming a potential virus, or something, or even in something small, like preventing the flower from changing color. This silencing process is highly sequence specific and also very efficient because the antisense strand of dsRNA is protected within the RICS complex and therefore is preserved as a catalyst to, to degrade additional copies of the target messenger RNA. To put this into better terms, in the end, the gene silencer is about to silence the cancer-causing gene, or pathogen, and able to effectively prevent it from reproducing, thus stopping the infection before it starts, or, pro or from progressing into a worse stage or condition. This process could be exactly what we need to kill off the, these diseases for the better future health of all. This form of gene silencing would come in a vaccine, much like the ones we use today, where the virus itself is injected, but completely harmless as it's actually there to fight the pathogens. It has been tested on mice with a great outcome. Pre-immunization with a self-replicating RNA vector protected mice from the tumor challenge, and therapeutic immunization prolonged the survival of the mice with the established tumors. It has demonstrated an incredible increase in the health of the immune system, all while killing off the pathogen-infected cells. According to an article posted by the Genetic Engineering Biotechnology News, messenger RNA can also be tailored to act as an adjuvant to stimulate the innate immune system. RNA-based vaccines can be developed, manufactured, and administered at point of care in a matter of weeks, potentially addressing future pandemic threats. While strengthening the immune system, the vaccine can also prevent deadly diseases, possibly even before being discovered within the body. The vaccine isn't disease specific, meaning it is able to be developed due to its flexibility and use to prevent any dangerous pathogen from diabetes to tuberculosis and even major heart conditions. Messenger RNA can be easily optimized for improved codon usage, stability, and antigenic properties. In other words, the excerpt from this article claims that it can be modified greatly to be specific to your disease. Furthermore, it can strengthen it to help your body fight off the cells for good without the need for the extra treatment when the pathogens come back. Overall, RNA therapy and vaccines have brought forth some promises, promising details and research results that will hopefully be used to save the lives 
of hundreds and even thousands. Even if you aren't the most interested in science or medicine, we can all agree that deadly diseases like cancer should have a cure by now. Luckily, now you know there could be a chance. They say practice makes perfect, and perfect would be a world free of deadly disease. Thanks for watching.